Episode 11. Possible Reasons for Successful Binding but Failure to Arm. Check if the aircraft settings match the factory settings. 1. When the aircraft cannot be armed, the first step is to check the disarm flags on the Betaflight settings page to identify the reason for the arm. Then, make the necessary adjustments. 2. Check whether the actual wiring serial port and receiver protocol settings match the serial port to which the receiver is connected. 3. Conflicting mode settings leading to arm failure, verify the mode settings on Betaflight configurator. 4. Verify if the motor options are set to bidirectional D-shot and if the ESC supports bidirectional D-shot on Betaflight configurator. The aircraft's default setting for this feature is enabled. 5. Make sure the receiver channel presets match those of the transmitter. 6. Aircraft may be unable to arm at tilted angles, check the maximum arm angle setup on the Betaflight configuration page. 7. Aircraft with GPS pre-installed may fail to arm due to unsuccessful satellite acquisition, check if GPS rescue in the fail-safe settings is enabled. Other precautions. 1. Before takeoff, ensure that the propellers are correctly installed, all propellers are intact and undamaged, and check for any loose motor screws. 2. Verify that the battery voltage is at a full 33.6 volt. Check that the battery, camera, and lens are securely fastened with straps to prevent any vibration that could cause resonance in the aircraft. 3. Check the battery voltage difference. If there is a significant difference in voltage between the cells, it is not recommended to use that battery for flight, as it may result in unstable power supply. It is advisable to keep the voltage difference between the two batteries within 0.1 volt. 4. Do not fly in crowded areas near high voltage lines, in no-fly zones, or in places with base stations. The first flight should be conducted in an open, unobstructed environment. 5. After completing your flight, regularly maintain and service the aircraft by cleaning off dust and debris. Periodically clean the flight controller's black box flight data. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your flight.